two teams with designs on a top four finish locked horns at the Veltins Arena. After spending most of his life on Schalke's books, Julian Draxler returned to play against the Royal Blues for the first time. His new team Wolfsburg were without a win in six games. Well, Wolfsburg went into the match with the worst away record in the division, but they started well. Daniel Caligiuri's fierce drive rattling the crossbar. Before this game, Wolfsburg had only scored six times away from home in the Bundesliga. They were desperately close to adding to that tally. But Schalke made the breakthrough on 24 minutes. A Wolfsburg attack broke down. No one thought it would be a good idea to close down Klaas Jan Huntelaar. The Dutchman's been punishing that kind of mistake in the Bundesliga since 2010. He's now second in Schalke's all-time list of Bundesliga goal scorers. This was number 74. And Schalke doubled their advantage in superb style just 11 minutes later. Midfielder Johannes Geis has proved to be one of the signings of the season and free kicks like this are becoming a speciality. So Schalke well on their way to a sixth straight home win against Wolfsburg. Well, the visitors had long spells of possession in the second half, but they lacked guile and penetration throughout. New Brazilian signing Bruno Henrique wasted a glorious chance on his debut. As Wolfsburg pushed for a way back into the game, Schalke found space on the break, and it was one of their January signings who wrapped up the points with three minutes to go. 21-year-old Alessandro Schöpf scoring his first Bundesliga goal after arriving from Nuremberg. All three points secure for an elated Andre Brighton writer whose side produced a display that was a mix of defensive determination and attacking flair. This strike from Schöpf, the icing on the cake. So a nightmare return to the Veltins Arena for Draxler. His Wolfsburg side now six points behind Schalke in the race for the top four.